hello. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I'm Nimesh Patel. I'm the number one Google result if you Google Nimesh Patel. I only found this out when my mom called me and then she Googled me and she said, Nimesh, you're the number one Google result if you Google Nimesh Patel. I said, you damn right. And then she said, every other Nimesh Patel is a doctor. Where did I go wrong? Then she hung up the phone. So she's cool. I love my parents. I go to see them time to time. I went home last weekend to see my mom and my dad. My mom picks me up from the bus stop, but she'll never go straight home. There's always like 40 errands between me and the food that's waiting for me. And this last time I went home, my mom picks me up. She says, Nimesh, I have to go to the bank. It's me two minutes. I said, this again? All right, let's go to the bank. <laughs> go to the bank. I'm sitting in the car for 20 minutes. I call my mom. I said, Mom, I hope this is a hostage situation. <laughs> Otherwise, you're wasting my time. She said, Nimesh, how old are you? I said, 32. She said, that's me in my years. You wasted. Then she hung up again. So, it's a good burn. I went to see my dad because it was his birthday. And I got him a gym membership for his birthday. And I took him to the gym. And I discovered he's the kind of guy that will follow around someone who's hired a personal trainer and then just do those exercises. <laughs> But that's the best guy on the planet. <laughs> My parents are Indian, if you can't tell, if they're stupid or something. Um, it's a weird time to be an Indian person in this country, I'll tell you that much. Because it feels like at any moment, black and white people are about to go to war, and Indians are going to have to choose. <laughs> I don't know what side to be on, quite frankly. It, it feels like mom and dad are getting divorced, you know? And dad's really cool, but mom's got all the stuff, so. <laughs> I, just, I just saw this movie that defines race relations real well. I saw Get Out. You guys seen it? It's great. It's a phenomenal movie. If you haven't seen it, it's a horror movie. It's about a black guy that goes to see his white girlfriend's parents, and they end up being mad white. <laughs> like crazy white. It's a horror movie. It's the most successful horror movie written and directed by a black director. You watch that horror movie, then you watch a white horror movie like Paranormal Activity, and you realize the difference in the genres. Like, real subtle. It's a, in, a, in a black horror movie, the monster is racism. In a white horror movie, the monster is a house you could just leave. We're not giving up on this mortgage, Tabitha, not today. <laughs> I, I saw the movie with my quite white girlfriend and then we went to see her parents the next day and I was very suspicious. <laughs> I've been with my girlfriend for about four years now, so we fight in public, that's all that means. <laughs> I've discovered that the best place to have an argument with your girlfriend is in the back of an Uber <laughs> because you have a judge. And he usually goes with whoever ordered the car. <laughs> if my girl and I are fighting, I will call an Uber to nowhere and I'll text the driver like, hey man, you better be on my side, bro. There's some stars riding on this one for you. <laughs> my girl and I the other night are on the back of this Uber and we're arguing and the driver is dead quiet. And then we get to our destination, the, my girl gets out, driver turns around and looks at me and says, hey man, I agree with you. <laughs> Not enough stars for that review. I wrote Uber a letter. So I've never taken a Lyft or a cab ever again. I want this specific Muhammad guy every time. Because <laughs> look, sometimes you need a stereotype to be true, okay? My middle some friends, great guys. But when you're fighting with your girlfriend, you want the opinion of that one Middle Eastern guy that doesn't believe in women's rights on your side. <laughs> you guys got tense, but I'm not wrong. It's wrong, but I'm not wrong. Oh, you think I should do the dishes? <laughs> Let's see what this dude from Qatar has to say. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Nimesh.